Welcome to another episode of The F Word and today, PJ, I want to ask you, what are you currently reading? What books are you currently reading? I'm not reading a book, I'm watching a book. What? We are in the final season of Game of Thrones. So I think, <laughs> like you said, you talked about Andre Bocelli, 0.1% people. I think 90% people is watching. Yeah, Game I'm just part of the 0.01% that have not watched an episode. Game of Thrones, but enlighten me. What have you learned from? But it's what, amazing. What am I missing out? Yeah, the show and a lot of people. It's not about dragons and witchcraft and all that. It's about a politics and all the lessons you can learn in that and the character developments. And there's good and bad in every one of us. So I think that was great about a story. But more than that is the the exponential lessons that you can learn from that. And there's mm-hmm. stuff like the Lannister always pay their debts. And um, the World Bank that uh, can golden company that lends them money, but I'm not going to talk. I'm going to talk about three lessons that you can. So learn three financial that. lessons yeah. that you can actually learn from Game of Thrones. I want to hear this. <laughs> I have not heard people that uh, listen to financial lessons, well, but let's see what we can learn. In our industry, you look at everything financially. <laughs> financially so I just think about how much it costs to make. But anyway, <laughs> on the lessons that I learned is the first one you hear throughout the series is winter is coming, and. What you can learn from that and take it through to your own life is there is b- bad times are coming. Even if you plan, and I think in Game of Thrones, I can maybe prepare for it a bit more, but more succession planning because they knew from the beginning winter is coming. So pre- be prepared. So if it's even through insurance and maybe for retirement, you know winter is coming. There's going to come an area in your life that's going to be where you're going to need more funds. So start preparing now with that. So that's the first lesson. The second lesson is it's a big world. In Game of Thrones, everyone focuses on King's Landing. But the biggest threat, they didn't even know, came from the north, the White Walkers, and from the east, like the Daenerys and the dragons. So it's such a big world. You just focus on your problems, but in investments especially, you just focus on our country, our problems. But it's such a big world. You need to know especially on investment sites, what happens in the rest of the world. Because what Donald Trump and China um, says or does has got a big effect on your investments as well. And the third thing I learned from that is your trust needs to be well placed. The, the, throughout the story, there's backstab. Everyone is looking out for themselves because they want to sit on the throne. That's where the name Game of Thrones comes from. So is the person that's helping you with your finances, if it's your advisor or your accountant, is the trust well placed? Are they looking out for you as a client? Or are they actually just scheming so that it can line their own pockets? So that's the three biggest lessons. Peter, thank you. That might entice me to, to, to watch <laughs> it. So that's the three lessons we can learn is winter is coming. There's a big world out there. Look at all the options and make sure you trust is well. well placed. But I want us to end off, and if you can summarize in 10 seconds, 20 seconds, what is the big craze with, <laughs> with the, the Game of Thrones? Why, I th- I why think do people, I know, besides the financial issues. <laughs> yeah, business. it's unpredictable, such good character developments. That's why people are in this final series say it's a bit rushed off, because the storyline is like 140 characters, everyone's got a storyline, and especially in the end, you can see from the beginning, where the story was going. I don't think it is a series like that, so I think that's what the craze is about. A lot of surprises, a lot of character development, and a lot of financial lessons (laughs) that you can learn. So next time when you watch it, make sure you also incorporate the financial lessons. PJ, thank you very much for that, and uh, until next time. Thank you.